Hi everyone, this is Walrus1 and I'm going to do a quick tutorial here on using signs and heads leaderboards. So as you can see here, instead of having the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we have 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th. And uh, just to comment on that first, in the config, you will now see, in the config, you will see this list of numbers. And if you change these, you can change them to whatever you want into an ordered list. So this is helpful for anyone of a different language, or if you just want to have first, second, third, fourth, fifth, or if you want to use 1th2nd, however you want to do it, so you can change it like so. I'll just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, change it back. Reload, it shall be update, and I didn't update, that's probably because it probably ex took them as integers, so I gotta put these little marks in when you're using numbers. Save, it shall be reload. And there you go, one, two, three, four, five instead. So that's the first feature. So if you want your heading, which or header, which is what I'm referred to it as, your header, it's the top line on your sign, or the value that exists at the top line on your sign by default is called the header. If you want to change that to be a different language or anything else, you can do it there in the config. Now for a little more options. You can see here now we have these five options here. Stat on same line, set defaults right now then you have line four, zero format line one format line two and line three format so this is the format for each of the four lines on the sign with the first variable here before the first comma being the color followed by a format followed by the item you want to display at that on that line um, in the config you'll see under line formatting that the colors be you know all the minecraft colors the format can be normal bold italic underline or magic and the item to display can be name, stat, stat display, header, blank, or custom. Which custom allows you to actually add another comment type exactly. You can have anything you want on that line if you want a row of uh, equal signs for decoration, say. You can do that. So I'm going to make a few changes here. We're just going to see what the results are like. So uh, the one I'm going to work in is my PVE that I was working on in the last tutorial. So I'm going to get rid of the header on the first line and I uh, think I will go and put the name on the first line instead. And I will do it in dark red and I'll allow it to be bold. Um, second line, I'm going to use, I'll say, I'll use magic here just for to show that it works. Um, I'm going to use, when I'm using magic, I'm going to use custom. And I'm just going to put a bunch of gibberish because it's not going to show up. It's going to be a magic text, and I'm sure you've guys seen that before. Uh, the third line, just to show again, uh, go dark, or I'll just go green, just to show you. I'm going to use custom, or yeah, I'll use custom again, and put a row of equals. Oh, sure, equal signs, just to show that you can do that. Oops. So on the last row, I will set that to dark blue. I'll leave it bold and I'll use the stat. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change my stat display to be just kills, just to show that this can work. And okay, well first we'll just do this. Now we'll go HLB reload. Oh, and it just happened to update at the same time. So you can see now you have the names on the top row. Then you have your magic text on the second row, uh, a line of green equal signs on the third row, and the value on the last row. Now what else you can do here with this stat on same line is if you set this to true, what it'll do, it'll, it'll put your stat, which is your number, and it'll put a space and follow it by your stat display, which I set to kills. So if I save this and do HLB reload, and HLB update, you'll see that it comes up with kills after the stat now. 
so that allows you to have your stat and your stat display on the same line uh, a lot of people like that idea um, it, it is a nice idea um, you just have to be careful of how large your stat get and how long your stat display is because you know if it's if you're using play time or something and you have a and they get a lot and they're on for a long period of time then of course it might not all fit on the line um, so yeah I mean you can play it around with that and do as you want you can you know you can put the name on the second line put the magic on the first line you can do you know name on the bottom line number of kills on the top line so you can do whatever you want it's completely customizable um, the only thing you can't do is right now the limitations of what the code I have is uh, you can only have one format so you can have bold and underline it's it's going to be one or the other it's going to be bold magic it's only going to be one and a color that's one color per line um, and there you go you should be able to do whatever you want with the signstone all right thank you enjoy